Well, that was another successful hunt and I'll show you what I did and I'll keep on watching and I'll give you some tips on how to be more successful in your treasure hunt. So today I went to two Dollaramas. In this store that I just got, I found three treasure hunts, which is the custom 56 Ford truck. So that must have been in one box that they just put on the shelves. And in another store, I found two power pistons and I also found a couple Honda Preludes as well, which I'm doing the whole Honda collection. So that's cool. So some of my friends, family and some co-workers are always amazed how I'm able to find these treasure hunts. And, you know, there is a method to my madness. So if you keep on watching, I'll give you some uh, tips on how I'm able to find these treasure hunts and super treasure hunts. It does require a little bit of homework and some diligence. If you followed my advice, I'm sure you'd be successful as well. So tip number one, you have to figure out what stores in your area actually go through their stock routinely. Big box stores like Walmart, they tend to throw a bunch of cases out at the same time. And then after a couple days, people start rummaging through those bins so much that the corners of the, the cards get all damaged and stuff like that. And the chances are you finding a treasure hunter, super treasure hunter are slim to none. So what I found that these independent stores like Dollarama, they tend to go through their stock quicker. And if you keep on going there and kind of keeping track of their stock dwindling, they'll start restocking it pretty quick and then you maybe have a better chance of finding a treasure hunt or super treasure hunt or a special car that you're looking for. Tip two, you're going to have to do a little bit of research. What I recommend doing is finding an informative website that has Hot Wheels or a good YouTube channel like Peak Time Racing here. Scroll through and find all the unboxing videos and watch those. Or you can just uh, sit in front of your television and stream YouTube to make a determination of what cars are in what cases. So when you go to the stores and you can recognize a certain cars, you'll have a better understanding on what cases are there. And then you can start looking for those treasure hunts and super treasure hunts. So you have a better idea than what's available and so you don't miss any. So tip number three, I recommend signing up for the Hot Wheels Collectors Forum. So start a profile and follow along there and you can see what the new releases are coming out, different models, different versions. Um, and you can they also have a forum, a collector's forum, which you can go into and you can subscribe and follow along for certain uh, chats and uh, forum posts for collectors in your area. So what else I do in Facebook, I subscribe to a bunch of Hot Wheels and Diecast collectors uh, pages. And typically what people do is when they find uh, the new releases, they will post on the wall here of what they're finding and then you can base your hunting um, for what is out there as well. So it gives you a better idea what you should be looking for and what stores are released to what cases. So that's very helpful. Uh, it's really helpful if you actually subscribe to ones that are in your area and I have about three or four in my area which I subscribe to and which I follow daily. So tip number four is going to require a little bit of effort. So if you're serious about collecting treasure hunts, super treasure hunts, or whatever special car you're looking for, you're going to have to do this. You have to make it a routine of keep on going to the store and trying to keep track of what stock they actually have. I noticed that some stores, what they'll do is they'll stock the shelves closer to quitting time. So if you can get there right around quitting time, you might have good luck um, finding a car that you want as you're just putting a case out. Or other stores, what they'll do is they'll stock the shelves in the morning when the store isn't so busy so you might have good luck uh, finding what you're looking for um, at that time as well so you kind of have to keep track of when the stores are stocking the shelves and what type of uh, product they actually have currently and what cases are going to be there and I can see here that the stock is dwindling and so they're going to get a box soon and they're going to be stocking the shelves shortly what I do is I look up there and see if there's any boxes that are ready to go out and I may ask an associate if I can have a look or just keep on coming back until it's actually filled up again. So what I also do on my phone, I have this website saved and I'll put a link on the bottom and it lists all the treasure hunts and super treasure hunts. And so it tells you what case all the treasure hunts are in. And before I go into a store or have an idea what cases are, are out, I look at this and I have an idea what I'm looking for. And you'll see those two, the Power Pistons and the Custom 56 4 truck is what I found. And so these are the other ones that I need to find as well. And this also has the Super Treasure Hunts. So these are the Super Treasure Hunts and you'll have an idea what's in the store at the time. And I just recently found the Audi Quattro. I actually found two of those. 
five is uh, be friendly to the staff. Get, start to get to know them. Say hi. You know, how's it going? How's your weekend? Oh, oh, happy Friday. That type of thing. You can ask them, hey, do you know when the, the next Hot Wheels shipment's coming in? Or uh, do you have any cases in the back? And uh, trust me, uh, being friendly and asking those questions, you know, they, they, they know there's collectors and they know there's people uh, looking for Hot Wheels and sometimes they'll set some aside for you. So, you know, it's worth a try and uh, it's worked for me and I'm sure it'll work for you too. These tips do work. These are all the 2020 treasure hunts that I found so far and one super treasure hunt and they've all been found in pegs. So at the end of the day, it's really not that hard. You just have to know what you're looking for. You know, once in a while, even a blind squirrel will find a nut. So just keep on looking, know what you're looking for, and you too will have luck like I have finding those treasure hunts and super treasure hunts and whatever special car you want. So it appears that I got here just in time and a new box was just put out and I found two treasure hunts and four preludes. So I'm going to grab those and add it to my collection. <laughs> Score!